Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all of you, whether you are a first time subscriber, uh, a first time visitor, or a long time subscriber. Thank you for being here. It means the world to me. Now tonight, what we're going to talk about is taking two of our favorite vendors, Ubiquity and Microtik, and we're going to mash them up together and we're going to make something work here. Something that I've had a lot of requests for. I've had a lot of requests for Microtik to Edge Router IPsec VPN. So we set it up in the lab. I'll show you the setup here and we made it work. So we're going to hop over here. We've got this beautiful graphic that I made and I'll actually introduce you to the piece of software in a later video. But this is our graphic, our map, our representation of what we're doing. And I'm going to explain this really quick, and then I'm going to show you the equipment, and then we're going to do the configuration. So what we've got here in the center is we've got our internet. This is actually an Edge Router 6P. On this side, we've got a Microtik hex, just a little box. And on this side, we've got an Edge Router X. We're powering them both with the Edge Router 6P. My PC is plugged in over here on the Microtik side, and my IP is 192.168.1.254. There's an access point plugged into the edge router, and the IP address of that is 10.10.10.39. And what we're going to do is we are going to create an IPsec VPN between the Microtik and the edge router so that the 1. network, which is the network that I'm on, can get to the 10.10.10 network. So let's take a little bit of time here and look at the tools that we're using. All right, for the edge routers, this uh, this is our edge router 6P that is our it's our cloud, and it is providing power to the the Microtik and to the edge router X, and then we're passing that power through the edge router X to a mesh access point. So you can see right here, this is the interface we're connected to the one uh, the uh, 192.168.68.1. And then it has a uh, has an address from inside the lab, and here are our WAN connections right here. This one goes to the tick. This one goes to the edge router. So here is the edge router X that we are using, and I am using UBNT UBNT. Do not do that in production. Use a different username and password. Don't even use UBNT. Change the username and password. This is a lab only. So I. And get away with it here in the lab, but I would never do that in production. So if we look at our interface setup on the Edge Router X, you'll notice we're running the version 1.10 software. Here's our WAN interface, which is the 2.2. Our switch 0 has 10.10.10.1 slash 24, and we are running DHCP, and you can see we have one lease out there. You can also see that we have pass-through power enabled on ETH4, which is powering that access point. Now, for the Microtik side of the house, I am running uh, the latest version of Winbox, which is 3.12, and this is the Windows-based application. It's super sweet. Um, and then our Microtik is running router OS 6.41.2 stable, and it's an RB750 GR2 board. So we're going to go ahead and get connected to that guy. And the configuration on this is a pretty vanilla config. The only thing I did was I changed the WAN address to static. So you can see it's 1.2 going out to 1.1. And I changed the inside network because by default it was 192.168.88 and I didn't like that. So it's 1.1 and it's handing out addresses. So that's it. That's all I've done to this so far. What I have done is I'm still learning the command line for the Microtik. Microtik is very powerful just like edge routers are very powerful from the command line. Uh, for this, for somebody who has run into a tick in the field and they can't swap it out and they need to create this with an edge router, this is going to be a quick video that's going to show you how to do it in the web UI and it's going to get us up and going. I have a ping from my machine here running over to 10.10.10.39. So as soon as we get this VPN up and going, uh, this ping should start replying. So we're going to start on the Microtik side. I'm going to share this document with everybody. Uh, I played around with this to get it working and so I'm going to share this document so you can copy what I've done here and get your own 
VPN up and going between a micro tick and an edge router. The pre-shared key that we are going to use tonight is never going to give you up exclamation point with a capital N. And so let's start on the micro tick side. And where we're going to start here is we're going to click on IP and we're going to go to IPsec. And right here you can see that the first thing that I've got where I uh, took my screenshots was from the the peer tab. So we're going to come over here and now when you get into your micro tick there's going to be a default policy there's going to be a default proposal and that's okay we're going to work with the default on some of these and not on the others. So um, when we get over to this policies we'll disable that and we'll create a new one. But um, So for now let's get over to the peers tab and we're going to add a peer. We're going to go to general. Now the address of our peer is the WAN interface. So it's 172.16.2.2. Remember that is the the WAN interface of our edge router over there. And uh, the port is usually 500. Local address is going to be our WAN interface. Pre-shared key is the auth, auth, method, ex, auth method, exchange mode is main, and we're going to paste that pre-shared key in there. We're going to go over to the advanced. We're going to leave default here. We are going to um, leave the uh, no track chain the way it is. We're going to uncheck NAT traversal. We're going to change our DBD interval to 60. We're going to go over to the encryption tab. We're going to select, we're going to deselect triple des, and we're going to leave AES selected. And then the Diffie Hellman group is this mod P1024, which is actually uh, Diffie Hellman group two, or Diffie Hellman two. So we're going to go ahead and apply. And okay, so now you can see that we have our uh, peer set up there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create, or we're going to go over to the proposal, and we're going to edit this default proposal, and we're going to leave it at SHA-1, and the only thing that needs to be checked are these three AES 128s and the 256 right here, and the lifetime is good, the diffie Hellman's good, and we're going to apply and OK on that. And so now we are at our policy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to disable that policy and we're going to add a new one. And now we're dealing with the internal IP. So the source is going to be our internal here, which is 192.168.1.0/24. The destination is the LAN side of the edge router. And we're going to go over to the action tab. It's going to be encrypt. We're going to require it. ESP. We're going to do a tunnel. Now the SA source address is our WAN interface. The destination is the WAN interface of the edge router. And we're going to apply and OK that. So now you can see that we've got this happening here under policies. Now we're going to go to IP firewall and what we're going to do is under NAT we're going to create a rule and it's going to be a source NAT rule so here under general chain is going to be source NAT destination or I'm sorry source is going to be our uh, LAN on this side destination is going to be the LAN side of the edge router. We're going to go over to action and we're going to make sure that that says accept. We're going to apply that and OK. Now we're going to take that rule and we're going to move it all the way up to the top of the firewall. And this is under the NAT. So now what we're going to do is we are going to close all this good stuff and real quick we can look over here and see there's no installed oh there is an installed SA so far so it's trying so the tick is trying to connect so now what we've got to do is we've got to hop over to our edge router we're going to go over to the VPN tab site to site 
we're going to click show advanced options make sure that this automatically open firewall and exclude from NAT box is checked we're going to go add peer we're going to put in the WAN IP of the MicroTik. We're going to put our WAN IP in the local. We are going to make sure that our encryption and everything matches. So we're at AES128, SHA1, Diffie Hellman Group 2. We're going to paste in that pre shared key. The local subnet on this side is 10.10.10.0/24, and the remote subnet is 192.168.1.0/24. So we're going to apply that. And we're going to see what happens when we start hitting a little traffic here. It's still applying on the edge router side. Looks like everything is applied. We'll see if this comes up, how quickly it comes up, or if we're going to have to do some troubleshooting. Uh, maybe our access point isn't 10.10.10.39 either. Let's double check that. Uh, let's see. View the leases. Yep, 10.10.10.39. And there it is. So it took just a second for the tunnel to come up. But uh, I played around with this for a little while to get all the settings the way that I wanted them and to get everything uh, to work properly. But I'm going to share this document. There's going to be a link. There's going to be a link to that document down in the description. It's that easy. And then once you get it established and you start playing around with the settings, you can start changing the encryption and, and all that good stuff and, and really mold this and make it your own. So um, that's it for this video. I thought this was pretty cool. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please go to H5LLC down there in the description. That's H5LLC.com. Hit me up for consulting if you need consulting uh, or join the newsletter. There is content that goes out every Sunday in the newsletter that is not in any of the other social media outlets that I have. Uh, our, the link to our Discord channel is down there. Charlie does an awesome job. So you can come over to Discord and we're, we're on there. You can chat with us kind of live. Uh, if you want to buy a micro tick or an edge router, my Amazon shop is down there. It doesn't change your price. It kicks a few bucks this way to keep this gear coming in so we can do this interoperability testing and setup for you. And as always, thank you for being here and we'll see you in the next video.